Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Waze and today I'm going to be showing you three JavaScript features that you might not know. Really excited for that. Let's get started. First feature of JavaScript that we're going to look at is going to be optional chaining operator. I'm going to start by creating a person object. So we can have some properties. I'll give a value John. Let's start by creating another variable. Let's just say person a equal to and if i want to access person dot let's say i would like to access last name which doesn't exist and i'll say last name dot name i'll press enter and you will see we have this type error it says cannot read the property name of undefined now this is the problem let's say this person object is coming from a backend and if you basically try to access a property which does not exist this is going to throw an error and your program will break but how about if i create a person b equal to person dot last name and i will add this optional chaining operator and i'll say dot name and this time if i press enter instead of breaking the program or throwing this type error we have this undefined if i try to access person b enter you'll see it is undefined instead of breaking the program you can use this optional chaining operator to save your program and then put that value as undefined instead of just throwing this type error that's the first javascript feature we're going to take a look at a nullish coalescing operator. So the operator is basically this two question mark. So this operator is a logical operator that returns its right hand side operand when its left side operand is null or undefined and otherwise returns its left side operand. Now this is very, very useful as well. So let's try creating a variable. We'll just say foo. The first one I will just keep that null and then use the operator and then we'll just say John. Enter and now what you will see is foo has a value John. Now if I have this let's say constant bar now just says zero and we will just say John. Now it's not null. Now if I access bar you see the value is a zero. This feature is template literal tagged templates. So template literals in JavaScript are very common and well known. It is the way of easily using variables in strings. But did you know you can call functions directly with template literals and omit the parentheses? This is a really, really cool feature. We're going to go to VS Code and I'm going to start by creating a function. We'll just say my tag and the first parameter is going to be strings. And the second one, let's just say X. Now within this, I am first of all going to access strings. So let's do console.log and just log all the strings. Then we can expect a two string in the template literal that we'll pass in. So let's type str zero equal to strings zero and let str one equal to strings, let's say one. Okay, now I'm going to first of all return something uh, very simple. So first of all, we are going to return string one. So let's use this syntax. We we'll just use string zero actually. Then we are going to return, let's say X. And then I'm going to return str one. Okay, so that's our function. Now I am going to call this function and pass in, for example, some strings and a value for x. So let's go and create let x is equal to, let's just say, sample. Now I'm going to get inside the function and we are going to say if x equal to equal to sample, then we can say x equal to sample all right 
else x equal to unknown. All right, so that's a little bit of a logic that we have. Then I'm going to call this function. I'm going to say my tags. And first of all, let's pass in some uh, strings. So let's say, we will say this is, and then I'm going to pass in the value for x, which is, let's say, sample. Let's go to terminal, and I'm going to use node app js run it now you'll see it says this is so let me zoom in a bit this is actually this console log it is not even hitting this one now we are using this parentheses with a my tag function and passing this template literal but let me go and create a variable let's just say output equal to and i'm going to start by calling my tag and instead of using this parentheses, I'm just going to start the template literal straight away. And this time I'm going to pass in this is, and then I'm going to use this syntax. And for sample, I'm going to just use the variable. Now let's save the file. And I'm going to do a console log on this so we can see the result for output. I'm going to do a console log as well. And let's get rid of this. Let's save the file and then I'm going to run it. Node app.js. And you see we get two results. So it says this is sample. And here we got T sample hatch. So basically, when you call this function, with parentheses, you get to see this is, which it will take T and H for string zero and then string one. And then it passes this X value within that. But when you use this without parentheses, this is going to actually read every word. So that is a benefit of using this template, little tagged templates. So it's pretty cool what you can do with it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.